Finally! Neon! Lost the decryption and awesomeness, it's finally done! Chapter 16, The Witch and the Huntress. It was scary and cold outside. Nothing could be heard but the breathing of Raichu, Yuki, and Minna. Not even birds fluttered like fishes in the ocean through the sky. Of everlasting darkness and the stars. They were looking for Luca, who was known for her beautiful singing voice and magic spells that were vasted over people. And goodness, did she have big boobs. Other people thought that maybe she was the child of the goddess of Aphrodite. Others thought she was a vampire, said Doctress, hidden away in the forest, because her looks could destroy a person from the inside out. I heard that she could be a vampire, said Doctress, hidden away in the forest, because her looks could destroy a person from the inside out. Right, True said, her eyes gazed amongst the stars in the moonlight. <laughs> If that were true, Raikami, you'd be stuck in the faucet with her. Minna laughed and giggles. She sounded like a sweet little chirping bird in flight on a warm summer's day, in the sunlight, feeling the light on its wings as it went over the world, like a soft airplane. No. Minna-chan, you are so flattering, Raichu blushed, and her face became the color of a rose in bloom. Don't say such things, I don't deserve them. Of course you do, Raikami, Yuki said. Out of all the people in this world, you are the only one who sticks with the friends like you do. You are beautiful inside out. Any guy is more than lucky to have you. Come on, we need to get Minna-chan's memory back. Raichu said, and they continued on. Into the creepy forest. So, Minichan, how long have you been watching Pokemon? Yuki said. Uh -huh, I don't even remember that. But I'm sure it's been a while. I only remember the lights flashing and Pikachu screaming. Minna put her hands on her head and closed her eyes. I wish it would stop. Calm down, Minichan. Yuki shook her. You're all right now. No one's going to hurt you. Pokemon isn't real. Only if you make it real. Yuki's words reached out and touched Minichan like no other. You're right, Yuki. I need to stay strong. Minna's eyes glowed. Hey, Yuki, are we almost there? Raichu looked behind her to see the two following her. Yes, she should just be a tiny bit further. I can see her house. Yuki smiled, bright and beautiful. We need to be careful when we walk in. We don't want her getting scared and casting a spell on us. Bop, 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 bop. Can she really do that? Raichu looked at Yuki with slight doubt like a lost boy. Yes! Yuki was very cautioned. She can do almost anything she wants to. I wouldn't go questioning her unless you want to leave this forest looking like a ogre. Minna and Raichu looked at each other and sweated. Well, here's a house, Yuki said, as they all looked at the great structure that went up into the sky. As they walked in, they could hear a soft beautiful voice say hello i see you are looking for something there she shat on a grand luxurious chair was luca Megurini. her hair was about as long as the floor and was pink with soft pink highlights she wore a tall witch's black hat that has gold trim around the edges of the brim she wore a long dark gray dress that was in two pieces her top was dark gray with gold trim around her collar and edges. She wore a gold brooch like thing on her neck that was on her shirt. She had a headset that was brown with gold trim and a gold zigzag pattern on it. The part that went on her ears was blue with gold trim. On her arm was a brown armband with creases and gold trim. On the head, a brown arm wangers with gold trim and gold writing with a blue rectangle that lights up when she sings. Her skirt was a dark gray with gold trim around the edges. On her waist was brown rectangles of brown with the gold zigzag pattern she wore brown socks with gold trim that went up to her thigh and the inside of her skirt was a lighter brown her shoes went up to her knees and were gold they had brown shoelaces and brown heels oh yeah and her neck was a blue collar and her nails were blue she looked very beautiful what do you want children luca closed her blue glowing ocean eyes you could feel how powerful she was and mysterious just by looking at her Raichu stood up and bravely said, We're here to bring back the memory of our friend Minna-chan. She looked at Minna and Minna stepped forward. 
Look at Megurini, I want my memory back. Please. Minichan bowed and got on the floor in front of her. Hmm. Why should I do this for you? I am very powerful and very beautiful. If you want me to help you, you'll have to get someone just like me. How about you? Luca pointed at Raichu. If you want me to restore your friend's memory, you'll have to be more than beautiful. You'll have to beat me at a singing contest! But I warn you, no one has beaten me before. I am a master of music. Right, Kami, you can do it, Yuki cheered. You beat everyone at the school contest. You can for sure beat her here. I'll use my angelic powers to help her, Yuki whispered to Mina. No, Yuki, Mina shouted. Only demons can control music. You will have to leave this to Aikami. She held on to Yuki. We can only play. You're an angel. You can play. You're right, I can. Yuki put her hands in front of her and prayed. Daughter of Raichiru, holy God, help your daughter. She needs you right now. I am your dicky pill. Listen to me. Come to your mother's aid, mother of God, and help your mother. Praying won't help you now. Come, Raichiru. Katsueki Neko Oni. Come and sing with me. <laughs> Luca began to sing Just Be Friends. Her voice flew throughout the wind like the beautiful sound of death. Don't underestimate me. Raichiru opened her lungs and started to sing My Sanctuary from Kingdom Hearts. Her voice sounded like a flood of despair and beauty. It nearly drowned Luca's voice out. Both of them started to sing louder and louder. Luca sang, Just be friends, all we got to do. Just be friends, it's time to say goodbye. Just be friends, all we got to do. Just be friends. And Raichiru sang, And you and I, there's a new land. Angles that fly, my sanctuary, my sanctuary, yeah! The sounds fought each other like the fire and water tribes. At the final moment, Raichiru's music rang out into the heavens. Her demonic powers took control and her eyes turned red. In her cat demon form, she sang so loud and so beautiful, it shattered Luca's eardrums. Ah! Luca cried and fell to the floor. Her ears and eyes were bleeding like a flood of pain and agony, and her voice stopped. Fine, fine, I will give you your friend's memory back. She raised her hand, but before she could cast the spell, she was ripped into pieces. Ah! Mina screamed and hugged Yuki. What the fuck was that? Raichu yelled. You both are pathetic bitches. She came out of the dark. It was Lucy. Her hair was a short pinkish red, and she was wearing a white long gown with no shoes. Her bare feet were on the floor, and her eyes were the same color as her hair. On the top of her head, there were two white horns. You asshole! Raichu screamed. I'm gonna fuck you up. You destroyed the chance of Minichan getting her memory back. I've always wanted to fight you. You think your life is hard? You don't know my life. I know your life, right? You said coldly like the ice cold night. But you don't know mine. Do you know what I have had to go through to be here? She slammed her fist into the wall and made a ten foot hole. Lucy stumbled back a bit. I've always wanted to fight you, Lucy took out her hands. I'm gonna bloodbend you in half, Raichu. Not before I do! Raichu whipped out her hand, and they began to bloodbend each other. They struggled and struggled, both their arms shaking with the power. A demon's power to bloodbend is a lot more stronger than yours. Don't talk so mighty. Just watch, I'll win. Lucy looked at her in anger. What makes you say that? Raichu looked deep into her blood-red eyes. I'm not alone. Oh, hey, I'm big in Japan.